Hello, Aries. Guess what? It's time for your December read. I can't remember if I do... I don't know if I'll do like a December to January or if it's going to be the New Year read. I have to look in my book to check. Actually, I should probably go get my book. Two seconds. Because I'm losing and I forget my shits all day. Now, Aries, I'm going to get my book. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, y'all. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. Just boop your nose and away it goes, right? No reason to stifle yourself on something that doesn't relate to you, right? Right. Any newcomers in here? If you want a personal read, all the information is in the description box below after the music. First reading's on the house, newcomers, so take advantage. And I do take tips and donations. Take their time in advance. Meow. Aries, your energy is like there's a message that was supposed to be sent and nobody's doing shit because it ain't get sent yet. And that's left someone in a situation feeling as though they've just felt like a woman scorn and they've lost their goddamn mind. Just cutting anything like, mm, I'm a slit your throat, bitch. Anyway, the wants and wishes of the world, either to end the cycle or we get a new one. But you, you, the bitches over here looking at this old chick over here. I should stop saying bitch so much. That's offensive. But, you know. Now my bitches, so it don't matter. Someone wants this cycle to either end or a new one to start, but they're looking over here and they're just like, why isn't this bitch, like, doing nothing? I know I said this bird, but she ain't in the bird yet. However, obstacle and challenge is the two of cups right here. A coupling, if you will. Fears or rejections is there won't be a new beginning. You know, because this bitch is looking over here like, it, it, cut it down. Shut it down in a, in a Gordon Ramsay voice, right? What, how this shit starts, how it'll end this full cycle and make it come full circle. Six of Wands reverse. Someone doesn't feel like a victor. Someone feels like people are just stacking the load against them. Two of Swords is the beginning theme, y'all. Someone's trying to choose between who's going to have a horrible death and who's going to have a slow, painful death. As I like to say with that card, you know, like you can cut one head off, sure. But those are two bodies attached Someone's going to die of blood poisoning. And someone's trying to figure out which one's going to have the worst of the two. So, Aries, that's what we got for you right now. Hmm. It's like someone got scorned, and then when the end's coming, they realize they weren't a victor. Um, someone's waiting for a message about this obstacle of love, and now they're afraid that nothing's going to happen with it. More or less, right? Right. So, Aries, with this eight of wands that no one's sending a message for, it's reversed, no action's being taken. Someone's, like, sitting there moping over it and shit. Four of cups being like, oh, man, I have such feelings. Uh, but it also feels like it was their own fault for why this wasn't happening either. Hmm. Whoever that is, Aries. Also, cross-watch your switch where you need to, right? Because I have no idea what's going on. Uh, also, I like to say fuck a lot. So if you if, if that's not your cup of tea, you might want to go somewhere else. Because if you get offended, you're just going to hurt yourself more than you will me. I promise that. Right. This Queen of Swords in the situation. She's all scorned and shit. Could be water sign. Mad. Has their back turned. Being like, I ain't saying nothing. You can go somewhere with yourself. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, meanwhile, someone needs to look at snakes in their yard. Ooh. Whoever this is, Aries, either you or the person you're dealing with in this scenario, whoever is scorned, could be this water sign. They're sitting there, or you're sitting here, since this is like the king of wands, watching this person like they're a fucking snake because you know that they're in their emotions. But they ain't telling you nothing. They ain't saying nothing. They ain't even looking in your direction. They just got a, a, a fucking dolphin there calling him Flipper. And every time you come by, this dolphin just flips you off. That's why his name's Flipper. He attached a giant, like, finger to his head or something. Or maybe he's got laser beams. I don't know. But it's like, you're sitting here, King of Wands, watching this person act all snaky and stuff because you know... There might be danger to you. Hmm. I don't know about that, Aries. That's kind of like, ugh. Alright, the world and the wants and wishes, right? 
Yeah, with this new cycle or an end of a cycle, something isn't working the way you potentially thought it would. Like, either someone didn't put the effort in, Aries, or it just wasn't meant to be, you know? And that's because someone really sad about it, because there might have been a third party involved. Five of Cups. There's a lot of regrets here. The obstacle and challenge down below with this Two of Cups down yonder, right? Yeah, it, it's like, it's done, it's over. Whoever you were with, with the past, you know, they're refusing to take a leap of faith towards you, or maybe that's you towards them. Either way, someone sees what it is and is just like, you know what, nah, I'm not even, nah. This is like, you know, you, you guys might have been close, but it's time to part ways. It's got you feeling sad, though. It's like you did want this message of love, I feel like, but... I don't know. This person's just, like, got y'all down. I don't like it. Alright. Ace of Wands in the Fears and Rejections areas. Yeah, it's like the indecision is so emotional. Someone's, like, literally got a storm going on in their brain. Two of Swords, once again. It's, like, almost detrimental. It's like, you don't know what to do if this doesn't start. And that's a fear of yours. You know. But someone isn't listening to their intuition here, Aries and Cross Watcher. They're trying to escape before disaster comes up. Could definitely be cancer. And that's because they bit off more than they could chew. Whoever you're involved with, Aries, it's like, um... Not the person with all the indecision right here, but it's like the, the person who's kind of trying to run away. It's like there's something that happened. And that's why you're watching them like a fucking snake with all their emotions. It's like they did something. And it's like, they're running away from you, but in reality, it's like they're running away from what they've done in their own emotions. It's like somebody who can't accept responsibility for bullshit, you know? Yeah. Like, they try to get away with stuff, and then they get caught up. It's just like, what are you doing stealing all their swords, you little shit? You know? And, and then, like, it's like the tower hits, but then it's like, you know, it's not that, it's not that big of a deal. And it is that big of a deal. And someone needs to face the devil, even though they're very, like scared or whatever it could be leo or capricorn right here that energy but it's like someone's got to face their fears in this situation like they already bit off more than they can chew but it's like they don't want to they have the ability to they're just scared and they don't care give a fuck about what's fair or they're using whatever justifications they can to justify why what they're doing is justice even that but which is wrong is just like um no no, no, no. Whoever this is, Aries and Cross Watcher. Now this shit comes full circle. We got the Six of Wands reverse. Someone feeling like they didn't get a victory in the beginning. Now they're not getting the victory in the end. But they feel like people are coming against them. So they walking away with the cup just going like, you know what, I'm going somewhere else. I don't want to be here. It's too many feelings, you know? But that's because it's based on their own immature desires, their own, like, childish ways. This is someone um, who's leaving based on their disloyalty, and they're kind of acting childish about it. You know, like, I don't know why, but, like, the Hierophant right now is just telling me, you know, um, loyalty. But it is not, because it is reversed, and it's, and it's based on something from childhood, or them being childish, or just not wanting to actually look at things like a fucking adult. I feel like you almost dodged a bullet, Aries, but it's got you sad because this person had you in your feels a little bit. I don't know. All right. Ending theme. Someone does want that victory, but they need to make a decision, you know. What world are you going to be pertaining in? The one you created, or are you eventually going to turn around and, and look at the world around you? You know, that's the real question. Okay, so let's see what's coming up after all this with the energy, right? Justice is coming up right here. There's definitely stuff getting weighed out correctly about Psycho Bitch, Queen of, Queen of Swords. Justice is coming for her, like... It, it, like the butterfly represents her gentle nature but it but she was just kind of like fuck that and just like if it, it said fuck it to her spirit animal you know she killed her own butterfly just to be vengeful but 
you know, someone puts you in these feelings of feeling regret and feeling like nothing's happening the way you want them to. And there's going to be a bit of justice with that. So I guess this is a what goes around comes around kind of feel here, Aries. It's like they dicked you around long enough. Now the universe is like, okay, I guess it's your turn, you know. Let's see. Down in the situation below, yeah, this person gets drunk. And then they're... What the fuck, kitten? What are you doing? I don't know. Well, like, yeah, but this person, has, apparently it's a tendency to drink. And then they get dragged into town by their own horse. And you're just like, oh my god. I gotta watch you over, dude. You know. And at some point, someone's just gonna have to shoot this dude just so things change. We have the eight of... Wands right here. Sorry, that was my phone and a client just hit me up. Mm. Someone's gonna come in and change this person or their behavior because this shit's going to be, I feel like, rectified. It's like whatever they were doing, Aries and Crosswatcher, now it's gonna be coming around because it's just like, oh no, 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 no. We gotta look at this very correctly. It could be a, a Libra. Even a Gemini or Aquarius you're dealing with, you know? The wants and wishes, you know, you now desire the cracks and skulls. It's just like, you know what? I don't like feeling sad. Let's just go. Let's let's go. It'll make it easier on both of us. Let's just go. Um, but, you know, choke that fucking line till it's passed out and then eat its meat, you know? Mm. Like, you know, sometimes the line for me represents the shadow side of this bitch, you know? Like, she could be a ferocious person but she's trying to be gentle but right here it's like she's embracing the line too hard and choking it out it's like you know someone needs to learn how to actually deal with their negative side but trying to choke the damn thing out by fighting everybody else around is not a good idea you know fears and no not fears like the obstacle and challenge my bad what's up with it Aries, someone might be saying some shit in your ear that's just pissing you right off. Or it could be somebody gossiping. Either way, it's got you in a really combative state. Kind of like up here. Or this is your counterpart feeling this way, but someone's definitely hearing some negative shit. You know. Um, they want to let their guard down, but they ain't trusting them with the person next to them. Right? They need to start learning how to let things go. Aries, you might have to just go ahead and walk off and have this person wondering what the fuck. Because you're being called to something different. And trying to linger on with something and... Mm, no, 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 no. Like, eight to nine, no. Definitely not. Mm. Now, this is seven to nine, which is even more interesting. It's like, just taking a little bit and leaving the rest to rot so nobody else can get to it. Like, it just ends up, I feel like, poisoning your own garden. And leaving you feeling like whatever. It's like, you know, uh... It's like whatever this cat says, if you take that shit, and, and not like a grain of salt kind of take that shit, but actually like take it and just be like, fuck this shit, I feel like it would fuck up the rest of the garden for you a little bit. I think you're being called to walk away from something, Aries, whether you know it or not. Yeah, Because it's pissing you off and making you a bit of a control freak. Either that or this is your counterpart hearing this shit about you. Like you got bitches or goats going baby, you know, like just starting such, starting such. That made starting stuff. I'm sorry, that made no sense. Okay, fears and rejection. Yeah, someone's just gonna take ever just a little bit and leave the rest for nobody else. Mmm, Queen of Cups. Basically, because we're looking at this and be like, oh, it's just a little bit of emotion. It don't matter. It, like, whoever it is you're dealing with, Aries and Crosswatcher, it's like, they don't have enough respect for the emotions. Until, like, you know, it affects them, and then all of a sudden, like, they got emotion. I feel like when it comes to you, they really don't even want to cater to it. It's like they're selfish dicks. Or they don't think that what you feel is significant. Let's see. Shit's full circle, right? Someone's got to go to the book and be like, okay, look it, right? This is how this shit works. We can't be doing this. Someone needs to be called back to loyalty. Or I could be wrong and someone's using their whole like little baby. This is the way it goes nature to act like this is the proper way to do things. And once again, the magician reverses here. 
there you can see my finger I think now but yeah it, like he's here and here it's like this person's a manipulator Aries and cross watcher you need to be very careful because I feel like they'll can they'll find ways to justify why they do what they do I feel mmm I really don't like how this magician has popped up like this twice either. It's like they preach a good game, but like when it comes down to it, no, 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 no. They're a complete hypocrite to the core. Anyway, that's the reading. So, if you enjoyed this, please like, share, subscribe. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I would greatly appreciate it, of course. I love y'all's faces. I will see you next time. You all take it easy. Bye-bye.